The Eternal Reward, a spy weapon that makes disguising a lot easier. The idea of having a unique weapon to let you auto disguise is such a good idea, but over the past few years, everyone's been saying it's a bad weapon. And to answer that, yes. But no. Over the past 5 or 6 months, I've been playing the Eternal Reward to see what's it like. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Eternal Reward and how it's actually a good weapon. Warning. The following video is entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as offense. But knowing you guys, you're, you're just probably going to complain in the comment sections anyway. So like, just ignore this warning. Every spy weapon in Team Fortress 2 has a purpose. For an example, this bicycle freezes people when you backstep and grants immunity for a couple of seconds when you set on fire. Then there's the Kuna. The Kuna grants you overkill for every backstab, allowing you to go for more backstabs without having to worry about dying so easily. Now all of these knives have something in common. When you backstab someone, you decloak, meaning that you lose your disguise. You will become visible to the enemy team and people will call you out for undisguising. However, the Eternal Reward has silent backstabs. Hey, Editor T. Bandit here. I just want to clarify that the stabbing can still be heard when you backstab, but it's more softer than knives. Normally, there's an obvious screen that plays when the enemy dies. With the Eternal War, the backstabs are silent, making the enemy not hear their teammate dying. This also goes for butter knives, too. On top of that, the ragdolls of the players you backstab disappear, leaving the enemy thinking nothing is wrong. See, in this clip, I got a backstab on the pyro, but because I was using the Eternal Reward, I instantly disguised as the pyro that what I killed, happened? making the demo man think that everything is okay. This made his suspicion go away and made me have the free backstab on the demo man. Don't believe me? In this clip, there's a soldier and a medic, but because the medic was healing the soldier, it carried on to me. Well, guess what? That's not a thing that can happen. See, when you backstab a player who's being healed by a medic, it doesn't carry on to you for some reason. If this actually was a thing, it would be broken. But how come the medic immediately switched over to heal me? Now, this would mean the medic would probably thought that he let go a left click and re-click to heal me. Now, three things could have happened. One, he wasn't healing the soldier because he had his crossbow out, but it, it clearly shows that he was healing the soldier because of the beam. Two, he actually thought he let go a left click and started healing me. Or three, he looked away for a split second the moment I backstabbed the soldier and thought he wasn't healing me. Nonetheless, this guy doesn't suspect a thing. He was most likely distracted by the demo man. Thanks to my team, the medic was on low health and me calling for medic made him force uber. Although I didn't kill him, I was able to fool a high hour TF2 player. That's how the Eternal War can actually fool high hour players. What the hell, Tyler? The Eternal War is dog oh, God, this fucking weapon sucks so hard! Man, fuck you! Man. The Italian Reward would be good if it wasn't so fucking trash. Man, oh, every time oh, I do a damn oh, video, oh, everyone oh, tries oh, to oh, interrupt me with some kind of shit. Oh, I swear to God, it's like they play on this. Now that is cool. Skill issue. The Eternal Ward has been nerfed, of course, and that what makes the Eternal Ward a bad weapon. The Jungle Inferno update back in 2017 basically killed the weapon. What they added for normal disguises like using the disguise kit is only letting you be disguised if you have a full cloak meter. On top of this, they increased the cloak drain rate by 33%. That means their cloak runs out faster compared to the normal knife. Not only you have to rely on backstabs for your disguises, but you also have to worry about your cloak too. The Jungle Inferno update also nerfed the Dead Ringer, so using the Dead Ringer with the Eternal Reward isn't a good combo anymore. However, the combination of Invis Watch on the Eternal Ward is the safer and better option. There's also an obvious stabbing noise that plays, making it more obvious if you have your volume turned up. But here's the thing, because you can pick up ammo to recharge your Invis Watch, unlike the Dead Ringer. Think of this as recharging your disguise kit. 
On a side note, did you know that every time you kill an enemy, they drop the medium ammo pack? That's right, that's already 50% of your cloak meter back up. When learning how to play the Eternal Reward, you have to know where the ammo packs are on the map, where the ammo packs are on the ground, and getting backstabs for the ammo pack to recharge your invis watch. As for the audio cues that barely plays when you backstab someone, it won't be as obvious if you're in a crowd. Because so many things are happening in the battlefield, it's hard to hear backstabs from the Eternal Reward in a crowd. In order for you to get good at a nerf weapon, you need to learn how to adapt to that nerf. Now the real question is, how do you even play the Eternal Reward? Well, the whole mechanic of disguising as the enemy you just backstab has a bigger mean than just that. When you play spy disguising as an enemy, you have to think like that class. Say for an example, if you disguise as a medic, a medic would not be holding out his crossbow or syringe gun and running to the enemy lines. The medic would be staying in the back lines behind his team to support them. Think of it as playing as that class, but how you would act as that class, except you're not, because you're a spot. But it's like being a theater kid. You have to act, play, and think simultaneously. And yes, this is basically how you play an efficient spy. Now with the eternal reward, it's like being an expressionist. You're basically switching personalities at every backstab you get. Backstab a soldier, act like a soldier. Backstab a sniper, act like a sniper. But because your backstab disguises are instant, you have to change your personality right then and there. This can actually get you out of all sorts of situations. In conclusion, the Eternal Reward is an all-around balanced and amazing spy weapon to use. Even if you think otherwise, it's okay too. The Eternal Reward can be really hard to figure out when you're starting to use it. It's really hard to adapt to the disguise nerf when you're playing the Eternal Reward. Once you play with it more often, and learn the flow of it. It's really fun to use and get away with stabs, but that's all for now. Please subscribe and like if you'd like to see more. It really helps me out in the long run. Be sure to check out the Discord, it's in the description. Thank you Rocky, Evie, and Trance for helping me make this video. And thank you all for watching. <laughs> Man, you see your waifu and you instantly click it, huh? <laughs> oh. Okay, how about I play some music, bro?